Hello everyone and welcome to your Money in the Bank 2015 review video. The kickoff show featured King Barrett versus R-Truth with R-Truth getting the surprise victory but no surprise uh, King Barrett, the character of Queen King Barrett, is not going to be taken seriously ever again. The first match in the actual Money in the Bank card was the Money in the Bank ladder match for the briefcase for the championship opportunity and we all thought Roman Reigns was going to win, but he did not. The WWE swerved us in a very great way, and they allowed us to have someone else different to win money in the bank, and that was Sheamus, who a lot of people don't like. Personally, I don't like him, but at least it wasn't Roman Reigns. At least it wasn't Roman Reigns! Yes! The next match was the Divas match. Very short match with uh, the Bellas trying to do twin magic at the end and uh, Brie tried to get Paige in a roll up but Paige reversed it, the referee counted one, two, three and then Brie's like, no, no, I'm not Nikki and then she started taking <laughs> some stuffing out of her top it was really funny anyway, uh, for some reason Nikki came in, hit the rack attack on Paige the referee counted one, two, three but I don't know why she wasn't DQ'd Nikki still would have retained. I think that they're going to end up breaking AJ's record. Who's to say what's going to happen anyway? But I suspect Nikki will hold that title for a long time. The next match after that was a exciting and riveting Intercontinental Championship match between Ryback and The Big Show, which started off kind of slow with Ryback getting the majority of the offense. For some reason, Miz was not at ringside to cause some sort of distraction at the end. Miz ends up attacking The Big Show at the end of the match, which caused the DQ finish for Big Show to win. Ryback retains, but he loses the match. I don't know why they didn't let Big Show just lose to him. Because, you know, Big Show had to do the job for Big Roman Reigns, who didn't win. But I must also mention that Bray Wyatt ended up coming in and uh, knocking Roman Reigns off of the top rope. Off the ladder. And that um, prevents Roman Reigns from collecting the championship briefcase, the Money in the Bank briefcase. And unfortunately, you know, for the 20% of Roman Reigns fans out there, you know, hey, John Cena 2.0 has got to start somewhere, right? The next match was a well-publicized and very exciting uh, John Cena versus Kevin Owens Part 2. Unfortunately, John Cena won with a really bad spring bullet stunner, followed by the attitude adjustment. John Cena, for some reason, can be very nice. Uh, after he wins, he shook his hand and raised his hand. Uh, Kevin Owens uh, hits the pop-up powerbomb on the ring apron outside. John Cena took it wrong and hurt his back. The match wasn't as good as the first one. There was a couple of botches that um, Kevin Owens had to save tremendously because John Cena can't wrestle. John Cena can protect people in the ring. John Cena can work very safely, but John Cena can't not wrestle. Very good. Period. John Cena sucks. John Cena is only good for uh, taking people's seat away. John Cena doesn't want to put anyone over. John Cena doesn't sell moves. John Cena doesn't do anything. Period. When Kevin Owens took the loss, he laid down on the mat. He didn't kick out. Immediately after the three count was over, he didn't roll out the ring. Nothing. He stayed there defeated. Because when someone's supposed to take a loss, they're supposed to be defeated. John Cena didn't do that in their first match. And there you go. The next match, for some reason, right before the main event, was the New Day versus Prime Time Players New Day. The tag team champions lose to the Prime Time Players, surprisingly. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I guess so. The last match... The best match of the night is WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. This was the match of the night. This was a match that started off slow, but incredibly enough. I cannot believe, I cannot stress to you enough, that if you have not seen this match, this match was by far the best match that I've ever seen them in. Dean Ambrose got his ass kicked at the end, took massive power bombs to the ring side barricade twice get a, a running power bomb on top of a ladder with a bunch of chairs and then at the end they're both up for the title and they both fall down holding the title at the same time but 
Seth Rollins ends up with possession at the end, I guess this is football. And the stupid announcers make it seem like, oh, it's just like football. You know, he held possession. Triple H comes out, congratulates uh, Seth at the end, practically gives him a kiss. Because uh, Seth Rollins is now uh, Triple H's boy. But at least they let Seth Rollins look strong. I give this pay-per-view for the fact that they did not allow Roman Reigns to win. And they let Seth win cleanly by himself as best they can. Because they don't want him to look that strong. I give this pay-per-view three stars out of five. The reason why it doesn't get a full five stars is because John Cena won. And because the Bellas match was too short. And... I didn't. I would have preferred if they would actually just put the logic in there and let Paige win via DQ because uh, Bree's not supposed to be in the match. It was really funny, her taking the stuffing out. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys after Raw.